Good afternoon guys, hope you're all well. Um, not a short one, it's on it. A bit longer today. I'm just on my way to the dentist to get my beige newton sorted out. Um, I'm just wanted to say a bit about where I grew up. I grew up, I was born 76, grew up on Odsall Estate. Um, born and bred on, my family were born and bred on there. And um, yeah, it's about my dad's family. There was, there was a newspaper article a few years ago and the, the street my dad grew up on and his brothers and sisters was Rudman Street near, just on the same estate as Square, as um, Salford Lads Club. And it said in the paper clipping that um, it was called, their, their street, a st the street of a thousand kids because there was, you know, some really big families with loads of kids. And it was, and it, if you Google it, it'll come up, street of a thousand kids. Um, and there was um, a Mrs. John, the smallest family on that street, and this was in the 60s, was um, the Johnsons, they had two kids. And some relations to me who married into my family, the Pollards, there was um, 11 of them. There was 11 of them. And a bit further up on the street was my dad and my family, you know, my uncles and that, and my gran and granddad, Morris. Um, and they had 16. And I believe um, Granny Morris, um, they lost a few. So, you know, it was getting near 20. So you can imagine how wild it was in a what three bedroom house. Um, and my dad was a very good boxer and bodybuilder back in the day. Um, really good, done competitions and whatnot. And he said, he once told me that he started boxing training because his brothers and sisters always kicked him out of the bed because they had to share bed blankets, whatnot. You know, there was six, 16 of them um, in this, you know, back, back then. So, you know, you can imagine, but my dad was the smallest guy out of them all, right? And he said, even the sisters, my aunties, they used to murder my dad, kick him right out of bed. He said he used to get pushed, pushed, pushed until he was on the floor. So he started boxing so he could knock them all out when they tried it. Um, and he was a very good boxer. But yeah, the Pollards and the Morrises, they married, you know, a few of my cousins and aunties, uncles, the Pollards. So they grew up together. So you can imagine they got together, a few of them. Um, but yeah, my dad was a really good boxer and bodybuilder, pro bodybuilder. And that was because he, he, he always getting battered because he was the smallest one. Um, getting bullied off his aunties, his uncles. But I grew up on that estate and I loved it. Honestly, we didn't we didn't have much growing up, not at all. Um, I think everyone else had a bit more than us. Um, that's just the way it was. But do you know what? I've never really been at all about the money, even when I was uh, when drugs and whatnot. The money wasn't important. My family was. My family. I have the most amazing family, and on the Morris side, because there was 16 of them, I've got, honestly, literally thousands of cousins. I've, I've got cousins who had kids and who have got, had kids. You know, we're all we're grandparents now, you know, but it was great in school because we was, there was hundreds of us back then. In school, there was like a handful of the Morrises, Pollards, Kents, whatnot, in each year, you know, because when I got to first year in high school, my older brother was in fifth year and I had cousins in each year, so it was great. Um, and I was only about two foot three. Honestly, I'm dead skinner. And we we all stuck together, me and my cousins. And I seen one of my cousins in with his mum shopping the other week. I've not seen him for 27 years. We were so close growing. We're all close. Don't matter what path I went down, they've never really treated me different, which helped me stay on the right path. You know, I always say there's a line of no return. Cross that, you know, and, and you're going to struggle getting your life back together. But I've always been lucky that I've had an amazing family who never treated me different. And that made me keep myself always, no matter what drug I was on, you know, it, I was always the same person. A lot of them said that. You're still you, Joe. And you know what? Because of that, that is why I always wanted to be better because the family I have is unbelievable. There's thousands of us. And like I was saying, I bumped into my cousin and I thought I'd never see him again, to be honest. You had 27 years and I've not got long left in this world. Trust me. Um, we'll talk about that another time. Um, but I, And I bumped into him when he was with his mum and I said to his mum, how's our keeping? She went, he's there. 
And do you know what I love about all my cousin that? 27 years of not seeing him, and he's still exactly the same. We still have the crack, we still have the laugh. Because we was, we was, we was rummels when we was kids. I was always, um, like the class clown, you know, always making everyone laugh, being a dick. Um, honestly, one of our teachers in first year had a breakdown. I hope someone comments on this and remembers it. Poor Mr. Tweedale. He had a breakdown, he ran out of the classroom and never come back again. We never seen him again. Mr. Tweedale, God bless him. Um, he, he, he run out of the room crying. This is an high school teacher, and never come back. So it proves what the shits we was in school. But I loved school, loved everything about it. Um, but when I was younger, I, I kind of, because we didn't have much. Um, I had to kind of be a thief to get money to go, even to go cinema, to go everywhere. You know, we even, even when um. My mum didn't have much, you know, she, 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 we was always fed, um, very well, always looked after in that way, but, um, I used to pinch things, sell it, and I used to say to my mum, mum is, I've just found £20, um, and I used to do that, I used to love doing that, and she still talks about it to this day, and, um, she say it was always lucky finding money, I thought, nah, I've just took it out bleeding out a couple of streets down, if even get her was, um, so yeah, and, I kind of got introduced to drugs, amphetamine, when I was a kid, and LSD. We've had some crazy nights on LSD. Honestly, some of the best um, memories of my life as well as when we was on LSD. And that's not a good thing these days, is it? Because although it was good memories for me, it led me down a dark path because I was taking drugs so early. Um, because cause we didn't have now. If someone offered it, I was kind of like, yeah, I'll have it, not knowing what it was. Um... So yeah, went out for the weekend um, and come down about 20 years later. I've got so much to talk about. And sorry if I'm boring you, it's a seven minute video long. So I'll do something about my drug use and stuff in a bit. And because if there's one thing I want to do, if I can deter one at young ones these days, because I was only 22 when I got into it all. Um, earlier with the, you know, the class B's, class A's was like 22, 23 onwards. Um, but if I can help one person, man, like Benjamin Riz told the other day, um, I felt for him and I, thought, and, I t and I told him, if he ever needs any any um, advice, even, you know, and I still struggle, struggle to this day, but because I've been there, done it, smoked the T-shirt, as I say, I've got advice and I know everything, even though I didn't take my own advice, I always had better advice for other people. Um, so, yeah, um, my next one will be about... The growing up, thieving, jail, drug use. If you just want to hear that, then fine. But I'm really sorry it's an eight-minute video. Very long one, Tony, today. But shout out to our Richard, Big Pete, all the rest of his boys, Ebo. You know who you are. Um, I appreciate everyone. And people were moaning about the shout-out videos. I'm not asked about that. I love doing the shout-out videos. If I have to spend every day doing a shout-out video to people I really respect and appreciate, then I will do that. No one wants to watch it. My subs have dropped right down. Do you know what? I've just said to the wife, not bothered because even if I've got the ones I mentioned the other day, you know, 30 people, just to have them people and you just know who you are, is that's all that matters to me. Not asked about monetization, it's peanuts. Um and I'm unemployed, so I can't I can't um claim it anyway, the YouTube money. So all that so people, please there's a sticker thing up in there. Don't spend your money on it because I don't get it anyway. So please don't. I don't want money off you. Not here for that. I'm here just to make you laugh and, you know, probably make you cry with some of my stories. But anyway, it's nearly 10 minutes. I'm really sorry. Um, and I'll speak to you shortly, okay? God bless you all. See you soon.